Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. And um, Tegan and I went to workout class this morning. He slept until, let's see, workout class got over at 10. He slept the whole way home and he didn't wake up until a little after 12, I guess. So he had a pretty good nap. My parents just picked him up. They're gonna go bring him for a car ride and go visit some puppy dogs and have fun, you know. And I have to go get the car tire fixed. So we somehow drove over a, a screw or a nail or something, I don't know. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I think when we went to Krispy Kreme with Jenna, um, we had air leaking out of our tire. So we had to fill it up on the way. And uh, I filled it up again when we changed the battery with the truck. And today I figured out why it was leaking. We have a screw in there. <laughs> so hopefully they can just patch it and I don't have to buy a whole new tire because we're actually due for new tires on this car, but not quite yet. So, and this car, it's all wheel drive. So every time you replace a tire, you have to replace all four of them. You know, if there's a significant difference in the wear on them. So hopefully they could just patch it and it can hold out until we replace all four, all four tires. Crossing my fingers because I don't know if we can afford to have all four tires replaced because they're not cheap tires. <laughs> so fingers crossed, fingers crossed. So <clears throat> I'm off to fix that and then I'm gonna come back here and film a couple videos. I wanna do a Legos video um, and maybe an Ever After High doll video if I have time. I don't know. So that's the plan. Come along. So I am back home. <laughs> that was quick. Um, it only took like a half an hour or so and the tire is fixed. They were able to plug it so it was 25 bucks in and out. So yay, a score. <laughs> I'm so excited. I really didn't want to have to buy a new tire. So now I am home and uh, let's see what we can get done this afternoon while Tegan is with my parents. Jazzwares sent us these four big boxes. Actually, we have five boxes. Uh, the other one's in the other room, but a whole bunch of stuff that we have never looked at on our channel and we're not really sure um, if we are going to, we're thinking actually that we're going to donate a lot of it to kids for Christmas. But this set, I think I'm going to actually take a look at with Tegan, do a Tegan's toy pick for the Malong stuff because he really likes these, um, TV shorts on the Disney Junior app. So I'm thinking he might like to actually open these guys up and take a look at them. They're really cool. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different figures. And there's like this play set, Molong's house, or Molang. I'm not exactly sure the correct pronunciation. But it's kind of neat. I think they're all neat, but it's just nothing that we've ever covered. So I think this one I'm going to save, and um, Tegan and I will open that. So I'll put that over here. These boxes over here, though... I'm going to consolidate, I think. So thank you, Jazzwares, for donating to Christmases for kids. I appreciate it. These are really awesome. These are, these are awesome sets. There's just nothing that we cover. So it'd be kind of, we wouldn't know what we're talking about. So this one is the Hey Dougie stuff. So it's that dog. It's cute. Isn't it cute? So, I mean, they're, they're really cute. There's this, so there's this doggy plush. Let's stick back in there. And there are figures. And what's this? Oh, a police car. Then this big, huge squirrel clubhouse. Check this out. This thing is huge. It's really neat. And it, oh, and it stores, so you can fold it in half and you can store it on the go. And you can put all your toys in there. That's cute, I like that feature. I like the closing up and storing everything inside feature that a lot of toys don't have anymore. So I like that, that's pretty cool. I like it, that's cute. So I'm gonna consolidate some boxes here because they all have their own box. So we're gonna consolidate. Uh-oh, this will kind of open. 
Oh, Betty. <laughs> so that's cute. So that was in that box. And then in this box, we have a Peppa Pig. I know Peppa Pig is quite huge. However, it's another one we know absolutely nothing about. <laughs> that tape got stuck to my foot. Ah! Uh, we don't know anything about Peppa Pig. So we're not going to review these either. But um, this is cute. This is a little castle fort. And some Peppa Pig figures. And oh, another storing one. This is a Princess Peppa Pig's castle. And you could store that too. Close it up and store it. Neat. So that's cute. Those are some pretty cool toys. And this last box has Miffy Adventures in it. We have some figures. Sorry, camera straps on the way. A car, a plush, and Miffy's house that also folds up so you could store your stuff in it. That's pretty cool too. So thank you, Jazzwares, for sending all of this stuff to us. It's really, really cool. Um, I don't think we're going to cover really any of it on our channel but I did want to show it off because it does look like really cool stuff but we're going to be donating we're going to donate this to Christmas for kids because there are going to be some kids out there that will be super excited to get this for Christmas I am sure so those are cool toys though awesome morning guys it is Thursday and I have dropped Tegan off at Nanny's and today I'm gonna be kind of working on oddball -y stuff and um, hopefully I'll actually have a full vlog today I know that they've been really short little kind of bits and pieces like clippy type vlogs but today I have to um, finish up my Lego friends video that I started the other day. Um, I put it together yesterday, so I have to do the ending this morning. It's down here. I love that set. It's so cool. I don't know when exactly the video is going to go online. Um, definitely sometime in the short couple of days because we don't have that many videos filmed yet. Um, so that will probably be online soon. And we are supposed to get snow tonight. Lost snow and so I have to actually go outside and take down my Halloween inflatables now they are not blown up they've been shut down but I have to uh, bring them into the garage and blow them back up so that they can dry and so that the snow doesn't get on them I don't know how much um, Halloween stuff I'll actually get in today, but I definitely need to get the inflatables in because I don't want them to get destroyed in the snow or buried in the snow. So I don't have no idea how much we're getting. <laughs> All I know is it said snow, so we have to go outside and take care of that. And it is cold out. It's like 20 degrees. Oh. Alrighty, I finished my Lego video. And so that's all cleaned up now. I have to drag all of my inflatables from down here in the lawn and run them in the garage to dry out. And John's home so he can help me. <laughs> Yay, teamwork. <laughs> You know, this hill isn't that big until you're walking up and down it a gazillion times. <laughs> so all of the inflatables are up and they're in the garage. They're not blown up in the garage yet, but uh, that'll be coming shortly. But whew, now we're all set for the snow. <laughs> well, as set as we can be. 